Example 13.4e asks us to completely factor f of x equals 2x to the 4 minus 16x. In this example, we only have two terms. Uh, this is known as a binomial. But with a binomial, it's oftentimes easier to have a GCF, which there is. In this case, there is a greatest common factor of 2x, which gives us another factor of x cubed minus 8 to go with it x cubed minus 8 looks sort of similar to say x squared minus 4 which is a difference of two squares technique we saw that on the previous example so what we're going to introduce to you or really not introduce but review with you is a factoring called a uh, technique called the uh, difference of two cubes so the name really says a lot about the technique itself, or when you can apply the technique. So let's say I have two numbers, A and B, and I'm going to cube each one of those numbers, and I'm going to subtract them, hence the name difference of two cubes. So the numbers that we started with were A and B. So I'm going to take that A and B, and I'm going to subtract them to create one of my factors. I'm going to create a second factor using the first number squared plus I'm going to take the two numbers a and b and multiply them together plus I'm going to take that second number b and I'm going to square it and this is going to give us the pattern for us to be able to um, factor the difference of two cubes so how does this help us with uh, x cubed minus 8? x cubed minus 8 is the same as x cubed minus 2 cubed. So x is analogous to a. So everywhere that I see a, I'm going to substitute in x. And then 2 becomes analogous to the b. So everywhere that I see b, I'm going to substitute in 2. And if I do that correctly, I should end up with the correct factoring for x cubed minus 8. And then that will not be factored any further, which should complete all the factoring steps for us. So let's look at f of x. I'm going to copy down the GCF of 2x that we took out. And now where it says x cubed minus 8, I'm going to create that first factor using the x and the 2 for a and b, that's going to be x minus 2. And then I'm going to take x and square it. That represents the a squared. Plus, I want to multiply a times b. So that's going to be x times 2. We typically call that 2x. And then finally, I have plus b squared. So I need to take 2 and square it to get 4. And this gives us the factored form for, uh, for f. When you work with the difference of two cubes, you will always create a binomial and a trinomial for these, for these factors. It is never going to be possible for you to be able to factor x squared plus 2x plus 4 using trinomial factoring. We're going to need something more sophisticated to be able to get that factoring completed. We will get to that um, a little bit later on in the section. But for now, this is going to be as far as we can take this. This is not going to qualify as a linear factorization because one of our factors is degree 2. That's a degree 2 factor, this is a degree 1 factor, and that's a degree 1 factor, which would imply that the degree of this function f is going to be equal to 4, which we can see back here on the standard form. The leading term is 2x to the 4, and the highest power there would be 4. Now before we stop this video, um, there is one more technique that I want to mention here that goes along with the difference of two cubes, and it is called the sum of two cubes. 
for the sum of two cubes, I'm going to be taking a number a and b and cubing them. But this time I'm going to add them together. So here's how this changes our algorithm. The pattern then becomes a plus b a squared minus AB and then plus B squared. So let me emphasize where the changes were. Where we had subtraction, we have addition. Where we have subtraction, we have addition. Where we had addition, we have subtraction. Other than that, the rest of the format, the rest of the pattern looks identical. So you may encounter not only a difference of two cubes, but you may also end up seeing a sum of two cubes.